Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.13.8. Implement cryptographic mechanisms to prevent unauthorized disclosure of CUI during transmission unless otherwise protected by alternative physical safeguards. Now, let's kind of break this one down. We've talked about it a couple times, the whole encryption versus physical safeguard method of protecting CUI. And this is really where the control comes into play. So implement cryptographic mechanisms to prevent unauthorized disclosure of CUI. So let's stop right there. If there is no way of trans, uh, unless it's protected by an alternative physical safeguard, what are those cases? Okay, so case number one, wireless network. Okay, so wireless networks always have to be protected via cryptographic mechanisms, right? WP, WPA2 or better, it's gotta be FIPS compliant, all that stuff, because you can't physically protect uh, a wireless signal. Can't do it, right? What's another one? How about VPN? Okay, VPN, you can't physically safeguard a VPN. Uh, so again, those external connections are gonna have to have cryptographic mechanisms there to prevent. We know if cryptographic mechanisms are the way that you're protecting the data, it's gotta be FIPS compliant. So again, this is the control that tells us that we can really either protect it with a alternative physical safeguard or a cryptographic mechanism. So if I'm answering this, I'm gonna say implement the organization utilizes solutions which provide end-to-end -end encryption in all instances of CUI transmission unless otherwise protected via alternative physical safeguards. No CUI is sent without going through the encrypted file sharing solution. And again, that's the best way to answer that control. And hey, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171, or CMMC on your own, and you're trying to figure out what your physical safeguards are, or you're trying to figure out if you should just encrypt the world, uh, well, don't do that. Hey, look, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy and stop yourself from being frustrated. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website, or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. And hey, if you love the content we're putting out there for you, help us out with a big fat thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to eventually get through. And hey, until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there. Hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance, and I'll see you on the next one.